Right, we're here today to talk about how to apply tester gel. That is testosterone in a gel formulation that is safely absorbed through our skin. And it is applied to the upper outer thigh, lower abdomen or buttocks, whichever suits you. And what we tend to advise ladies to do is whatever site they use is alternate from, one, from left to right, just to minimize the um, slight hair growth that many of us see in that area after using this product. But if you do get that hair growth, it's only over that area and you can shave it or epilate it off safely. Now that's the easy bit. Um, the harder bit is actually working out how much to apply because this sachet um, at the starting dose, now most ladies, again, it'd be advised by your doctor, start at five milligrams every day. And this sachet therefore has to last eight days. It's quite a liquidy, clear gel, so it can take a little bit of settling down. Now, don't worry, in the first few weeks of use, there will be a bit of trial and error. If the sachet is to last you eight days and you get to day six and it's all gone, don't worry, just use a little bit less going forward. If you get to day eight and there's still quite a bit left, just increase that dose slightly in the following week. When you're first getting used to it, I do advise that you have a little pen and paper next to the sachet, just to remind yourself when it was opened and to, to work out exactly the dose you're using. That will also help you and your doctor work out and follow up exactly the dose that you're having if your dose does need adjusting going forward. So here's some of my top tips. Once you get used to it and you know how much you use, then you just rip the top off apply your gel every morning, and then maybe just put a clip it, get a clip it from the kitchen, just to seal it so it doesn't, you don't waste it, the air doesn't get to it, and then other people can't uh, pick it up and accidentally get your testosterone. So a clip it once you get used to using the sachets or if that's the way you choose to do it. Another easy way, which I think is really good in the early stages, and particularly if you're traveling, is to just to get a small clear makeup um, pot take the top off and open and empty the whole of the sachet in there. Now that is one sachet's worth and you can see it's quite hard. So having it in the pot just makes it a little bit easier to work out whether it's gonna last the eight days. But again, it's entirely up to you. It's what works for you and it's very flexible. You can't do any harm if you underdose or overdose. Just do your best and find what works for you. So we've talked about popping it into the makeup pot and then just making the makeup pot last eight days or whatever your doctor advises. The actual dose is in fact 0.3 mil, which is very small and very hard to visualize. So I've just used a, a neutral cream here because it's white and it's easier to see. Um, and that's what 0.3 looks like. So that's what you're aiming for. But with this clear colorless liquid gel, it's not quite as easy as it seems. So do what works for you, try something um, and, and adapt and alter to suit, uh, to suit your lifestyle and what works for you.